Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be unboxing two of my Ipsy boxes. I did three last time, but something happened with my small Ipsy bag where it went to some address in California, I guess, and now they have to like resend it to me so it's gonna be a while so I just decided I would do my ultimate in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus for you today. So here's the boxes. The big one here is $50 a month and this one here is $25 a month and I don't know how I feel about them. The ultimate is fairly new and I haven't been loving it so far so I've been keep I keep trying it because I like to film these videos for you guys but I don't know. We'll have to see if it's getting better. I think last month it got a little bit better, but it has been kind of letting me down since it started. There's nothing I've been like OMG about. So let's go ahead and see what we got for the month of January. Right. So first is my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. This one is $25. I do actually think this one is worth it. It's probably one of my favorites just because I do feel like you get your money's worth with this one. It's kind of a comparison to a BoxyCharm sorry and they do let you pick uh, one of your items each month so I'll show you guys the bag we got I really like the color of these they're a fun marble print and then they kind of have like a rose gold here but I do really like this color I love marble I love pink so this is pretty cute usually you get a medium size bag while in the small ipsy you get the small bag and in the ipsy glam bag ultimate you get like a big one and then the theme is clean slate it says this is your year say goodbye to what no longer serves you habits feelings expired mascara and invite in the new start your year on the path that sets your dreams in stone all right so the first item is what i picked out this month out of a few selections i see another i got another item that was in one of the selections that i didn't really want but now I think it's okay. So, anyways, this is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. I love Pure Lease, and I have not tried this serum from them, so I'm really excited. I have just about every other product from them. <laughs> this has a value of $58, very pricey. It says that it's going to target fine lines, crow's feet, dark circles, and puffiness. So I'm really excited to be able to try this out and see how it is. I can definitely use a new eye cream. I don't have that many like in my skincare collection. I have only like one or two, but I like to try out multiple. The next thing that we got is by Nature's Cartel. It's their lipstick in 90s Nostalgia. Interesting. I wonder what this is going to look like. It has fun leopard print. I have not heard of this brand before, but it does look really cute. And this one retails for $15. All right, so here's the packaging on that. And then, oh, so this is like a dark 90s nude. Really pretty color. Okay, so when I'm swatching it, it's a little bit more sheer, but you can build it up. But I like this. It's actually more mauve than I thought, but I do really like this shade. And these don't really have a scent. So, I don't know. I'm excited to try this. It's kind of fun to try out a new brand here and there. So, next thing in here, this is by the brand... Sugar Cosmetics, very new to me as well. But this is just a black liquid liner. I don't really use these a lot, so I'll probably save this for a giveaway so I won't swatch this today because I just don't think I'll use liquid liner. I, I never wear it, so I don't know. I need to like make that option to not send me liquid liner because it's just... I used to wear it a lot, but I haven't in like a few years now. So this was one of the options, and I kind of didn't really want this because... I already have a lot of these palettes, but I realized that I actually don't have this one, and I thought I did. It's the Ruby Obsessions, but I just kind of get annoyed with Ipsy because they send, like, the same things over and over. They've had this as, like, an option for, like, three times now in a year, which is kind of annoying, but I am glad that I don't have this one because I can kind of complete my little Obsessions collection. I do like these palettes from Huda, and I think they're fun just to kind of have a little color story here. So I'll go ahead and swatch. All right, so here is the swatches there of the Ruby Obsessions. I was a little less than thrilled about it, but I think that this will be a nice addition to my collection. Next up, I have these two items from the brand Space Case, which is really fun. Let me get them the right side around. They have really fun packaging, and I think I got like an eyeshadow or something before from them in an Ipsy, and they're really nice. Like, uh, their formula is really nice. Um, so this says it's the Scene from Space Highlighter Duo. We got 1C and 1B. Interesting, and it has a value of $18. Okay, so here they are out of the packaging. I can tell this one already it might be a little bit dark, so I'm not going to swatch this one. That one is 1B, so I'll probably save that for someone. 
so that they can have it um, just because that's probably going to be better for a medium to deeper skin tone. The one that I do like is called 1C. And this one seems like it'll be, oh my gosh, I did not remember this, but these feel like ColourPop, like, Super Shock shadows. They're, like, super bouncy. Wow. Okay, so here's that. If you guys can see that on the side. Very pretty, so soft, and the color is amazing. So I'm really excited for this highlighter. So that was everything in my Glam Bag Plus. I feel like it was pretty good. We did get some newer kind of indie brands, which is... Sometimes I don't like because I kind of like to have the well-known stuff, but I feel like we got really good stuff this time around, like with the highlighter and um, the lipstick looks really pretty. The only thing I don't really want is the eyeliner, so I would say for $25, that was pretty good. So here we have our January 2020 Ipsy Glam Bag Ultimate in this big box, and they actually made a nice little booklet that has all the products, which is nice. So the first thing, I really like this. This is um, their bag, and this is so nice to take, like, traveling or just, like, if you want to fit a lot of makeup in something, this would hold a lot. And it's really cute, and I love the pink inside. So I really like this bag. I feel like that's a nice one and something that I would actually use. Let's m dig in here. The first thing I see is from the brand Hey Honey. I really do like this brand. They have some great products. And this is their Take Away the Drama Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel Off Masks. Okay, so I like their products, but I don't love peel off masks because normally they're not the best for the skin to be like yanking on your skin and tugging at it. So I typically don't really use them. Um, I don't know. So. Oh, I'm kind of sad because this is a very like pricey, pricier skincare brand. This has a value of $49 and it says helps fight acne, encourages cell growth, decongest pores, and heals damage. I don't know, you guys. I kind of want to try it. It says, you know how some peel-off masks can leave your skin feeling uncomfy and tight? Not this one. So maybe I will give it a try. You guys will have to let me know if you have tried it, what you think. But I love that it has like acne fighting ingredients in it. And I love stuff that is made with honey. It usually works well for my skin. So I might have to give this one a try. Next up we got in here. This is a palette from The Balm. This is their Alternative Rock Palette Volume 1. I feel like I've seen this at Ross stores for really cheap. So I don't know how I feel about this. But, I mean, I don't have this. Oh, the colors are really nice. I like the inside. It has, like, rosy cold tones. This retails for $27.50. It is filled with everything you need for infinite eye looks, plus a rich bronzer, berry blush, and an opal highlighter. I'll go ahead and swatch these because I do think I will use this palette. Sorry, the, my swatches went sideways. <laughs> but these swatch really nice. They're really pretty shades. I like the rosy tones, but I'm iffy about these like glittery shadows in it. We'll have to see how it performs in the eyes, but I don't own a lot from the balm. So I am kind of excited to have this in my collection and test it out. So I guess I'm pretty happy with that. Alright, next thing we got, this is from the brand This Works, and this is their Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. It says, fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. I remember I was talking to my friend Leora about this because she had used it the other day, and she said she really liked it because she has trouble sleeping. So, I might go ahead and just put this upstairs in my room, give it a try. I never can remember to spray it, though. Like, usually when I'm ready for bed, I'm, like, out. It guarantees you wake up feeling rested and looking super glowy. How does that work? I don't know. But, I mean, I'll go ahead and try this. I think it could be fun. I've heard of this brand before. We will test this out and see how it is. Next, I got something from the brand Ahava. And this is their Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. It says it's an Ipsy exclusive product, which is kind of interesting. On the description here, it retails for $67. That seems really high for them. I knew they were, like, somewhat of a higher-end skincare brand, but I thought they were more mid-range, like $30. That seems very high priced, but I mean, you do get a lot of product in here, 2.5 ounces. It says it's packed with hydrating and nourishing ingredients like mineral rich dead sea water, vitamins E and B5 and amino acids to give you the soft dewy skin of your dreams. I do know the dead sea is supposed to have, isn't it supposed to have like healing properties to it? I don't know. So we'll test this out and see how that is. Next up, I got something from the brand Flesh. Is this the brand? I think this is the, 
like higher end version of Revlon or it's like under the same company. I know they sold their stuff at Ulta but I haven't heard about them in like the longest time. But this is their highlighting balm in 100 Startle. Ooh, I like that. It definitely has some great pigment to it. A little bit sticky though. So we'll have to see, but you can definitely like blend this out to be however sheer you want it to be or more intense. So I'll try that for sure. I used to hate cream products, but I've, getting, I've been getting more into them lately for like natural makeup. This retails for $18. Then this is the item that I picked out because it's one of my favorite shades from Tarte. It's their Tarte's Quick Dry Matte Lip Paint in the color Festival. This is such a good pinky nude shade. So this is the choice item that I picked and it looks like this. Mine's a little bit oily for some reason. I'm going to shake it. I hope it's not like older. I don't know why it's so runny. It's usually not, but here's the color. It's so gorgeous. This retails for $20, by the way. Next up, I got this from the brand Sweet Chef. This is a newer brand to Ipsy, and they seem really interesting. I think they sell their stuff at Target as well, and I like it because they have, like, vegetables in their skincare, which is kind of cool. But this is the Beet Plus Vitamin A Serum Shot. It says refines pores and smooths rough skin. It retails for $20, and on here it says it's... Infused with nourishing beets, omega-packed seabury fruit extract, and antioxidant-rich vitamin A to smooth skin's texture and minimize the look of pores for a glowy, youthful complexion. Sounds nice. And then on the bottom, I like that it says it's vegan, cruelty-free, free of alcohol, parabens, synthetic dyes, and fragrances. By the way, here is what that looks like from Sweet Chef. I really like their packaging. This has a scent, but why does it smell like essential oils? I don't know why it smells like lavender. Maybe it's the pillow spray. I have no idea. Oh, I see on the bottom it has lavender oil. Essential oils. I don't know. I'll try that out possibly. All these natural skincare brands always use like essential oils in the products. And I've heard mixed opinions about essential oils for the face. Um, I don't really care about like using them on the body. I know I got that question a lot. Why I use Bath and Body Works stuff. It's... I just care about my face because my face is what breaks out and my face is what's going to age fast. So, you know, I'm trying to look as young as possible for as long as possible. But I just don't like that they include these strong oils. But maybe it'll be okay. It is the last ingredient. So we'll see. Next up we have, this is from the brand Ton, And I remember seeing them at an Ipsy event as well. They have some really nice products. I was very intrigued by them. Um, this is their Eden Breeze Body Butter. Value is $19 for this. I have so many lotions, I'm just not really interested in getting body butters in my subscriptions. It makes skin silky smooth with a combo of organic evening primrose, macadamia seed, and olive oils. I have like too many scents going on here, so I can't really tell. I think it's a floral scent. Next, I got a brush, and this is from Farah Brushes. I noticed Ipsy always puts these brushes in their boxes, but I actually have a couple of their brushes that I really like. I think Ipsy might actually make these brushes because this totally matches the um, whole theme with the very light marble print on the handle, and then it has rose gold and pink, so it totally matches like the bags. So I'm thinking Ipsy probably owns this brush brand, or they make brushes for Ipsy. I'm kind of wondering about how it's going to work for me for it looks like maybe foundation on here it says the rounded and angled brush head fits perfectly into the contours of your face and blends products out seamlessly it says dip the brush into bronzer or blush tap or wipe off excess and blend but it's so like dense that i probably wouldn't use this for bronzer or blush because i like something more fluffy for that so i can kind of build up the product and not have like this heavy line so i don't know We'll see. I might try it for foundation or maybe a powder foundation, but it's an interesting shape that I'm not quite sure about. Next, I got something from Mark Anthony. This one is the deluxe size. So sometimes they include a couple deluxe sizes and then mostly full size in the Glam Bag Ultimate. But this is their leave-in conditioner. I can always use leave-in conditioners. It's pretty much all I wear in my hair um, for products. The full size version of this is only $6.99, so it's not super expensive at all. Um, it says it's made with ultra nourishing coconut oil and shea butter to cut down on styling time, moisturize, dry strands, smooth frizz, and disguise breakage and split ends. And it does smell really good. 
just a couple more products to go i got a nail polish here this is by pretty woman and it's in the shade don't me jelly i don't really use nail polish a lot so i don't really love getting it in subscription boxes but this shade is really pretty this is what it looks like this is a full size and it does retail for $7.99. It says it's a long wearing chip resistant formula that sets super fast so drying time won't slow you down. It also said it was 10 free which I mean it must be free of a lot of harsh chemicals that some polishes must use. And then last but not least in this ultimate box I did get a couple sheet masks from the brand Yvette. So we got the Daily Fresh Squeeze and also the I guess they're both the Daily Fresh Squeeze. Interesting. But here's what they look like. I think I said this before, but I don't love sheet masks. I feel like they're kind of wasteful um, since they're only a one-time use. I don't know. I just don't like that. I like more of like a mask that I can use multiple times. So I'm not the biggest fan. This retails for $8 for the set. Um, so that's everything in my glam bag ultimate. I would say that was definitely the best one that I have received. I feel like I got a good amount of products. There was quite a bit in there, but I'm thinking this is just not for me. I just keep doing it because I have like fear of missing out on something great but like I'm already doing BoxyCharm, BoxyLux so I'm thinking I don't really need this big subscription because now I have like all these things that I probably won't use as I was saying like some of the things I don't want so I think I'm going to have to go back and just do the regular $25 box in my $12 small bag. Let me know your thoughts on this, but I got to save some money and $50 is just too much, I think. So that is my thoughts. Let me know what you guys are thinking and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.